west of Newington High Street, Garland Street. So we're here in Abney Park in Stoke Newington. Um, and the play is set in Stoke Newington. A big event happens in the very beautiful Abney Park. I'd had a meeting with Tim and Paul at the Theatre Bible Theory and they'd suggested that uh, I direct something there and I really wanted to. But the, they said I just needed to find a play that I was really excited about. And just as I left that meeting, uh, Alice sent me an email with many moons attached asking me to have a look at it. And I started reading it on my phone on the tube and I missed my stop because I was so engrossed in it and I wanted to know what happened next. So the play is about... Uh, four people in London over the course of one day in July. Um, I wanted to write about London, I wanted to write about people and sort of how we connect or how we don't connect. Every now and again, and it's rare, you read a play by a writer whose work you don't know at all and it is thrilling and exciting and this is one of those, those really rare times when you think we're actually in a position where finally we can, with papers and stone and so forth, lots of do introduce a writer to the world who people just haven't seen, whose way of thinking about the world is magical and mysterious and filled with possibility, and I think that's what Alice does. So I started writing a few years ago, and I did the Royal Court courses, uh, which were fantastic, and sort of really set me up well with the kind of skills and tools you need, um, and then I'm working really hard with lots of support from companies that are committed to helping new writers like Payne's Plough, uh, people at the Lyric and the Royal Courts, um, BBC New Writers Room and obviously Theatre 503. Theatre 503 is special because we uh, launch playwrights. Uh, we are uh, emerging artists first port of call uh, and we hope very much that uh, you will literally see it here first. I want to be a playwright, I want to write big plays, and this is my first full-length play that's going to be on, which is so exciting, and um, feels like the first kind of step in what I really want to be doing. Uh, I'm working with my designer, James Perkins, and lighting designer, Sally Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> What's exciting about Pieces of Stone is, firstly, that they're not all directors and producers, but they're a collective of artists who start from how are we going to do something we haven't done before, which is really thrilling. And there's this immediate, you walk into a room with the three of them and they finish each other's sentences and they live in each other's pockets. They think as a genuine entity and I think that's pretty unusual uh, for a way of emerging artists to proceed. But you do get the sense that the lighting designer is exactly as important as the director and that's thrilling. We worked on colourings at the Old Red Lion and Girls and Dolls at the Old Red Lion and also Saraband at German Street. And so we're really excited about having this opportunity to show what we can do to a larger audience. What's great about this is it's the epitome of what 503 is here for. It's, it's uh, about launching young artists and this project is all about young artists and they, and they just happen to be rather brilliant as well. So please give some money uh, towards this production, you really, really won't be disappointed.